Hi, I'm Nave. Here was week three of the PSDL 6v6 Streamer Draft League. This is the week I'm first exercising just slap it together and build in the builder and see how it goes technology. Their team, the other team, is a hard trick room size spam team that doesn't actually have any side of spam. They have a Fur Giraffe over an Ndidi. And there isn't anything stopping them from having Ndidi, so I don't, I don't really understand that. But since this means their only means of redirecting is Rage Powder, which can be circumvented easily with safety goggles and Terra Grass, and there isn't any fake out here, I'm making a super offensive line at them and calling it a day. As you can see here, Screamtail is Fake Tears, Howl, Helping Hand, and Play Rough, and it'll basically always be my lead and can only be disrupted by Taunt Flutter or other taunts if the Trick Room Setter protects. The question is then, who can abuse these Fake Tear or Howl boosts? Well, the physical side of my team doesn't get much out of Howl, because they're all single target, so I've narrowed it down to either Thunderous, with Specs, Thunderbolt, Dark Pulse, Sludge Bomb, Volt Switch, or Magmortar, Life Orb, Flamethrower, Scorching Sand, Follow Me, and Protect. So with fake tears or if there's Hatterene helping hand, the both leads can successfully outco any trick room setter provided they don't Terra. And while in the case of Sunderus, Terra Grass is a very good seeming Terra into me, I don't think there's much incentive to do that on turn one. Because Sunderus Thunderbolt is very consistent into everything without Terra, but it's very weak to specs Terra Fairy Flutter, if you see here. This is all the bulk I'm doing just to live a non-specs flutter. Like booster spam moon blast lets me barely live here. And Bagwater does grant at the Flutter, but it suffers very hard at the Armory. And also gives an incentive to Terra because, I, you know, you see I attack with the Flamethrower, you go, okay, I'll Terra Grass and then I can't hit it. And I thought Magmortar got Sludge Bomb, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't get Sludge Bomb and I get the player Smog. And Smog. So that leads me down to, like, if I see Armories, I'll probably lead Thunderous and risk getting blown up by a Specs Flutter. Uh, but if I don't, I'll lead Bagwater. Bagwater also has Follow Me to help Bastion set up if it should come to that. And the physical side of my team, as I said, Landorus with a Hell Boost can't do much, so I'm just giving an Assage and see what happens. If I hit my Stone Edge, it'll be like a great late game answer to Regiites and Lapras, and Lapras is tricky because it can wall basket leap. And it was a combination of Terra Water and Water Absorb that can't hit it. So because of that, their team's lower speed and having a Flutter main, that's leading his adult fest over its Choice Scarf, and it has Head Smash over like Flip Turn or something else just so it can actually touch Lapras in the late game. It'll probably, if it, I mean, if it Terra normals, it won't do much, but I'm not going to have Terra by that point, and it's just the highest damage I have, so whatever. And Basketon is my answer inside of Trick Room. It can set up inside Trick Room without worry if I have Terra and Conkeldra doesn't come. And with Sturdy, it can get at least one body press off before dying outside tape Trick Room. One of the benefits of Sunder's lead and why it's Maridon, that's the reason for the nicknaming scheme this week, it's a Maridon cosplayer, is Volt Switch should do just about as good into some lead. If there's no, like, if I don't have to Terra, there's no Sinistrin, it's one of the frailer leads, if it's like Armor Rouge or something. I can Volt Switch out into Bastiodon, or I can just Volt Switch out in general, but I don't think I'll kill, and then Turkin gets it up, I go into Bastiodon, I Terra Bastiodon, I set up forever. But even then, just Rock Steel typing is very good into this team. And I think this just gives me the versatility to handle most everything. The CPDL top heavy power creep just means all of these are stat sticks that can probably live ahead even inside Trick Room and do something very strong. And I just want to use my favorite defense lowering moves, so I hope I can. Fingers crossed for no Taunt Flutter main and Battle Taunt. Over here, no armors or hattering, which is a little surprising. But it does mean I, I really don't have any reason to not go with the Mad Mortar strategy. So we're just going to lead off with that. Oh, they've picked very quickly. Let's see what, what they got. They got a Lapras and they got a Wretch Ice. Alright. To do that, we're just going to... We're going to blast the Lapras, right? We're going to blast Lapras immediately. I'm going to see if you can get... Ooh, that does not, or it's not, but not, oh, I need to change this off of Assault Vest. Water, yep, doesn't bother me. That doesn't kill. That means it's, it's pretty defensive to do that, yep. Not gonna, not gonna impress me, that one. We're gonna have Flamethrower again, no reason not to, and then we'll switch out into... I guess we'll switch out into... They're all kind of tame. They're all pretty tenuous here. Uh, and there's no Conk Elder, so we'll just do this. You're useless in this matchup, so we're just going to, to let you be. Crit is funny. Yep, Tower Blast, don't care. Grass, Thunderbolt. And I guess. Oh, you do nothing, Daniel. Huh. 
Grass, Thunderbolt, and... Eh. No. Bolt Switch, and... What's with an Iron Defense? I already tarot, so I'm thinking it's I'm sure up is fine. Is that a one is that 100? We're going to go right into Mass Respects. I guess no, because they, they target you down. So we're gonna move into you again and just heavy slam. This is bad. When, when Tekron was inside of me, it started to be bad for us. But they missed. No, I guess it didn't. Bells Rock doesn't matter to me. We're just gonna sit around until someone. We're gonna sit around until something dies, I think. Because if we if we Terra here, if we actually use our Terra here, we're pretty good for all phases of the game. Like, now, now, now that less stuff can touch us and we'll have a hell boost. Like, as, if we just break past these two ghost types that aren't tarot, we have a very, very good shot at everything. Actually, that's, let's see. So that was especially defensive, so it's not max. There's a no attack, if it's plus one, the play rough should get it. And that's even with the max, the, that's even with the investment I have right now. Yep. Good. Perfectly. Exactly what I would want. Which is odd. But yeah, we're just gonna howl. I'm gonna howl and we're gonna slam. Because this is when this is when you switch into the Sims show. Another red eyes, that's also fine. Ooh, Scorching Sand. Oh, Scorching Sand is a pretty good call. Prevents me from doing that at least. Play rough, land defense again. This is a good this team is good against this is a good 6v6 built team. It's it is making good use of the mid trick room. This isn't what I would have expected at all. We could have this is the same team they brought the first game, which is pretty interesting. Terra Blast now. Yep. We're just going to howl again for safety. I'm going to protect. I mean, just protect in the hopes that you die this turn, and we'll go into a a, a a palisand that is pretty ready to. But yeah, it's got freeze dry. It doesn't. It doesn't. Let's not get freeze dry. Nope. And then we got another hell. We got body press here. Fine. That's even better. I'd go so far as to say that's good for me. So yeah, Dark Pulse there should get most switch ins. The body press is kind of tricky, but they they don't have any immunity here. So we Thunderbolt there and should get everything. But now, now we Dark Pulse. We're double Dark Pulse, double up right here. Because if they go into a ghost, they get hit. And if they don't, they die. And I got flint, they got a flint, which is funny. Flint's very much mattered. But I'm known for my luck. Lander's endgame looks bad, especially here. Uh, this is fine, we Dark Pulse and we Heavy Slam. Has to do a lot of like it has to get a D gleam here. That's really all it can 
so far. It doesn't have a Terra Fairy Eagling, so it has to double up on the Palace and you'll get lucky. Because the Dark Pulse should hit. Yep. And that killed even more. Good. Crit. Crit. I don't think the crit mattered. Let's see. Flutter. We'll just we'll generously assume it's the that set. Draft. Plus three heavy slam. While burned is. Oh, that could have mattered. That matters if it's super, super, super bulky. As opposed to just regular bulky. And then Dark Pulse you. The dark pulse of your body press you. Yeah. We we don't we, we don't reveal two guys. We got super lucky, super undeservedly lucky there. Okay. The flinch mattered a lot. I don't think the crit mattered. I don't think uh, um, the flutter was bulky. No. I, so we're, we're gonna go for the same thing that we're gonna do the same thing as last time, except we're gonna clear off the line. That's this dude. It should be a lot more reliable. Yep. First plan, same as the old plan. Go to you. Fake tears. I know that I live a moon, a, a Spex Moon Blast. So we're going to do. And should I live the Sundress? Will Sundress kill with a. That wrong set. Thunderous kill was a Volt Switch. If we just assume 220 HP, Volt Switch wouldn't kill. But if it's like, yeah, I assume it's the bare minute now. It's too risky. We, 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 we. Yep. Yep. Health rocks, fine. The thing into basically this phase winning into the Sinister is bad here. Because it prevents me from, like, being specced here is bad, I'm just going to, I don't even know. I don't know what you could do, like, there's a lot you could do here, but if, at most it's Burning Terra, at worst it doesn't really matter to me. We're going to do the same thing no matter what. If you kill my Sunderus, that's good for me. I like when my Sunderus is dead. I mean, to an extent, I wouldn't want him to be... Okay, yeah. Terra Electric... Oh, so we can get Bolt Beam. That's pretty good. I mean, you burned your Terra, and I lived. Even funnier. Was Protect on the Lapras revealed last time? It's left over, so it is. We're going to... We're gonna... Ho I'm gonna Howl and bring it... Oh, it's here. It's because, like, you're totally... You're totally protecting. You're totally protecting because on other fake tears will do it or you're gonna do something that makes Howling here worthwhile. And if you kill the Landorus with the Stealth Rocks chips, it still gives me a for oh wait no, because I die here. So I die on my next switch in. Oops, I forgot how Stealth Rocks works. It worked out for me, but I forgot how Stealth Rocks works. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna Terra Fire so we can't get burned. That is Good, that is good here. And going to crunch the. The D, I'm, I'm even more fine with it being. Because you're not, you're not gonna terrible. Okay. Oh, you did. That's pretty. I don't know if they expected a switch or something, but that was, that was pretty. I don't even know what, what protects were revealed. They revealed one protect on the further app. Uh, oh, the palace end does not have protect at all. So it cannot do anything. The hell I'm in my turn. Because it is, this is annoying. Yeah. Would I, could I kill a red dice from here? No, I don't even care. Uh, I know it does kill a red dice from here. It's... And it's a battle boost of Escalation. Yeah. I'm glad the housing worked out. I didn't really think, I didn't really plan on it going in, but it was extremely useful. If we get into Trick Room here, we win. Going to a red dice, 
assume that it is max HP. My landerus is dash. Go in. I'm at. I will be at plus four, and I my stomping will kill. No, that's a good play. Better play. We're gonna go into you and go into you. Yeah. Go into flamethrower because that will get him. And we're going to iron defense. I'm not saying proof, not bad, but like flamethrower either way. Won't be bad, good for them. I'm definitely faster. My. Good. That's a good one. Well, they do now. I guess the kicker remains. Yeah, we'll do that or that. I flamethrower and then I still body press. Well, no. There we double protect. We're gonna we have to play. We have to play this kind of flame. No, I didn't have to. I didn't really have to do that there. Thunderbolt. Anything special? No. Follow me. Flamethrower and then the body press. Yeah. That's fine. Because I killed it. <laughs> and now they cannot beat they cannot beat the basket laser in game. They should not be able to win. Yeah, that was just a bad that was a bad switch, I think. That was wholly it was wholesale a bad switch. Follow me, body press. Oop. Yep. To follow me again. I'm going to turn or just to keep my if you want, you know, that could be silly. Uh, but we will be silly. No. And then we'll just crash. Press. Very, very silly. A lot of luck for me. I think I played game two well. I played game one pretty badly and I got lucky. The... I was caught off guard. I think I played to the outs well. I think they definitely did some very good switches that... I mean, part of it might not have been for, like not knowing what the protects were, but... The terrors were surprising in a lot of what they did. It was, I'm rambling. I don't have much to say, but I probably didn't say I read it. I think they played. They they did play well. They, they played well. I was just favored this day. All right.